bit loose though, you have to watch the grip. It's another video, it's been a while since I did the last one. I've uh, decided not to do many much riding um, during lockdown. But I uh, decided to do a little cliff one today, just to stretch the legs. It's been a while. Yeah. I'm uh, doing a ride from Hornby, which is just uh, couple of miles outside Lancaster and um, riding to Ray village now and then I'll be going up into the Tatum Fells and then um, heading back towards uh, Holmby uh, via some uh, back roads and uh, picking up some bridleways I'm expecting it to be pretty muddy and uh, I'm not entirely sure the road, the bridleways are going to be that great. But I'm just linking up what I can see on the map and seeing, seeing what happens. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, we'll see. Hi Bob. Hi. All right. I'm in the uh, the village of Ray, beautiful little village. Uh, this is famous for its scarecrow festival every spring. Um, but obviously, uh, there won't there won't be one this year. There was one, wasn't one last year. I'm not sure if they're doing one this year or not. Depends on lockdowns. It's a beautiful little place to come. Lovely old cottages. This bottom half of the village was badly affected by a flood 50 years ago. Hey, uh, there used to be buildings here, but they were washed away with a really bad flood in the 60s. Just crossing the river. And we're going to start the first climb of the day up Helksbrow. It's quite a steep one at the bottom. Looks like an old hollow way, which is where the before the road was surfaced. The land was eroded away by people walking and using horses and carts and stuff. It's just eroded the land away, hollowed it out. This ride will mostly be on tarmac. Um, but there's a few out of way sections and by way sections, about four or five of those. Let's pick it up a bit, but yeah, mostly on the time up today. Quiet lanes like this. Fairly tough climb this one. Lovely, uh, quiet countryside around here. And this beautiful hedge lined lane.
Yeah, so the uh, channel's been quiet for the last couple of months. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, first one is um, had an IT issue. So my um, laptop crashed. Give me this kind of white screen of death. I took it to the shop to sort out and they wiped. Uh, best said best thing for it was to wipe the hard drive. That meant I lost a couple of um, videos that had saved, hadn't backed up. I know. <laughs> you need to tell me about that. And then, um, secondly, I uh, obviously the nation's going to a lockdown, so uh, I've been keeping myself very local and not doing a lot really. Um, other than I've been uh, I'll do some local walks instead of riding my bike and turbo training in the garage. Obviously, nobody wants to watch videos of that. And um, I've been doing a fair bit of walking. I also like fell walking as well as mountain biking. Mountain biking is my main passion, but fell walking is good as well. Wide open views now. 360 panorama, basically. Look all the way around me. Look how still the grass is, or the rushes are. It's really a nice, calm day today. And the sun's just come out. Hiya. Okay. Yeah, you. Fine, thanks. Just starting to see the valley where we're going to be exploring. <clears throat> There's a couple of trails at the top end of this valley somewhere, and uh, that's where we're going to be riding in a bit. I've only ever ridden these roads, I've never ridden off road over here before. It's a lot slower on a mountain bike than a road bike. <laughs> Interesting road close sign. Well, that's the first I've seen one of those. Looks like this road has been resurfaced. The last couple of years it used to be really rough and rutted coming down here. Or coming up here as I used to do on the road bike. Death traps in store. <laughs> nice back to the side of the road. Oh, well, there's nothing, was it? Right, we'll go right here. See a reason for that road closer. That'll be a bit narrow in the car. Beautiful little gorge down there. Gorgeous gorge. And the snowdrops. Lovely, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> now the suns have come out as well. So that's promising. Nice looking descent. Sweeping curves. A 
just being technical really, but not really after technical at the moment. A bit loose though, you have to watch the grip. Nice. Nice little bridge at the bottom. This is called Bottom Bridge. Not bottom bridge, bottom window. How nice is that? And after passing the bridge, the next uh, part of the journey takes a look like it's pretty steep. <laughs> After crossing the um, the bridge at the bottom of that descent earlier, I think it's a footpath to the farm, so it's like a 10 minute walk, which is uh, obviously not that desirable. Um, but now I'm going to follow this by the way sign here. Just found so my way through that farmyard, it wasn't the easiest to, to follow. A um, couple of dead ends, but I did find the uh, the arrow on the sign. That's really awkward um, fastening to as well. You have to kind of squeeze your arm to relock at the gate. And now I'm coming down here, all the sheep have attracted to me. I don't think they get too many passers by here. Because there's a death trap there, I just nearly stood in. <laughs> I didn't see that. Right. Oh, it's horrible here. It's muddy and horrible. Right, let's get going. Out the way, sheep. Right, the path. Supposedly. God, I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Ah. Going is very soft. Apparently the path goes this way. Looking at the map. I mean, so far I'm urging on, urging on the side of do not follow this route. Gorgeous scenery. Well, I think it'd make about a walk, <laughs> but we'll persevere. Chris, isn't it? It's the wrong bridge, though. <laughs> I've just done some exploring. I just came down there and then, uh, but the actual bridge I need is, is over that way. So I'm gonna make my way over there now. There we go. This is the bridge I need. Pushing uphill through bog now. Let's try and find a way out of the gate there. That's the way I need. By the way, sign. I mean, from a riding point of view, this off road bit has not been great, and I would not do it again. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it to you. But from a, being out in the countryside point of view, this is lovely. Really nice. It's always good to uh, fill in the gaps of, you know, you could look at stuff on a map and think well, that might be good. It's not good for riding so far, but the countryside's lovely. Well, the path has completely faded out, I'm guessing. Whew, lost the path a bit back there, but 
back on the right way but it's all this sapping soft stuff I mean this is winter and you won't feel it I think it given the sunshine at the moment so it's probably the worst time of year to do this if it's a uh, hard packed dried baked summer day it might be rolling a bit smoother than this but a bit harder than this but very soft going at the minute bit of firm territory this is actually quite nice into a little hamlet called Low Gill beautiful little place There's three big birds of prey up there. I don't know what they are, they're probably buzzards. They're just circling around. They probably sense that I <laughs> spotted me for their tea. <laughs> Hiya. Yeah, how are you? Better view of the Yorkshire Dales on my right now. There's still cloud covering the top of Ingleborough, but uh, you can see quite a bit more of Burnside. This is nice. Going pretty soft again. He's had more used by horses than bikes, these paths. Oh. Up again. Going along the fence trying to find my way out. Uh -huh. There we go. There's a distinctive path here. I don't know where that's come from. I got lost again. Sounds just pointing me up this way. It's a bit of a slog. Sixteen eighty two. Sixteen eighty two, so 
250 years that's been there. Oh. Hollow way <sighs> called Spout Lane, and this should take me to a byway in a bit. Just past this really old barn, but looking at the big windows out the front of it and this chimney at the back, it's like it could have been some sort of mill or forge or something. This location for it's really remote. Just turned on to this old byway now. This will take me all the way to the village of Melling in the Loon Valley. Imagine this papa would be really popular on a cyclocross bike or gravel bike, some people call them these days. <laughs> Fantastic little chat this is. Uh, <sighs> this is the village of Malling just dropping into now. Well, near the end of the ride, thanks for uh, watching if you've got this far. <coughs> Good to finally get a uh, proper ride in this year. Uh, still staying close to home, but it's been nice to explore some of the, uh, the countryside. I uh, probably wouldn't recommend you follow this ride. It's a bit of an experiment and we got lost quite a lot of times and the riding wasn't very good really. Hi mate. That's Hornby Castle up there. And uh, lovely, isn't it? 